Good morning children and welcome to the Children's Liturgy on the 30th of August 2020. Hope you had a good week. First we'll start by lighting our candle. And now let's do together the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we're going to talk about a special event in Jesus' life, according to the Gospel by St. Matthew. We're going to talk about the night in which Jesus leaves the disciples, tells them he's going to go and he's going to die. But after three days, he will be rising again. Jesus talks about his cross, the cross he has to carry, and the cross where he will be crucified. This cross, which for example is something like that, that we often see. And now children, I invite you to stand so we can repeat together the Alleluia. Alleluia, Lord. God gives strength when our life is hard. Yes, he does. Alleluia, Lord. God gives strength. O oh Lord, you give strength. This is a reading from the good news given to us by St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. May the Lord be on our minds, on our mouth and in our hearts. One day, Jesus began to explain to his friends, the disciples, that he must go to Jerusalem and that in Jerusalem he would suffer many things and be killed, but that three days later he would be raised to life again. Peter began to argue with Jesus. This must not be allowed to happen to you, Lord, he said. But Jesus turned to Peter and said, That is not God's, God's thought. Jesus then said to his friends, the disciples, Anyone who wants to be my friend must take up my cross and follow me. Nothing is worth more than your life. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, after the Gospel, what do you think, children? How do you think the disciples felt? Yes, they felt really sad. They didn't want Jesus to die, especially Peter. He was very upset at the thought of Jesus dying and leaving them. But Jesus turned round and what did he say? Yes, he said, if you love me, you'll do anything for me. You'll carry your cross just like me and you'll follow me. What did he mean by that? Jesus meant that sometimes life is very hard. Sometimes you have to suffer pain, injustice, things don't always go the way you want, but you have to be strong, you have to be brave, and you have to carry this pain with you, this suffering, and still follow Jesus, still believe in him, because things will get better. Just like things have gone better after lockdown. We're back at school, we can see more members of our family, we can see our friends again. It's wonderful. So we've had to suffer for some time in order to get to this point of happiness. Let me go back to the crosses. I showed you this cross at the beginning of liturgy. This is um, the standard cross we find. But there's another cross which is a really nice one, which I like and I have two of them. This is called the Romero's Cross. You see it's very different and it's very colourful. Um, lots of colours. The blue, the green, the orange, the yellow. It's a completely different kind of cross and it's made of, of wood. And it comes from a country which is called El Salvador. Which is sort of um, Central America. Quite far from us. This is called the Romero's Cross. 
because it's dedicated to the Archbishop Romero. And I think you may know who he was. Many, many years ago, he was the Archbishop of San Salvador. And he believed in justice. He spoke out for people who were treated unjustly, for the poor. He always defended uh, the weakest in society. And unfortunately, because of his ideas, because he wanted to help them and speak for them, unfortunately, he was killed while he was saying Mass. And now he's a saint. So this specific cross is dedicated to him and is only made in that country. Shall we try and make a similar cross? Yes, why not? So we could print out this black and white Romero cross. Then you can see how I colored it in. Not as nice as this one, but I try my best. So I cut it out. And then what I could do by using glue, I will stick it on a piece of cardboard and I will cut it out. Right, I've done it. This is my very own Romero cross. What do you think, children? Well, not as nice as this one, but it's mine. So you could do one or more than one, maybe one for you, one for each member of your family. And maybe put it by your bed or try and hang it on the wall or somewhere where you can see it. And remember this great man, Archbishop Romero, who is a great example of sacrifice, of carrying the burden, carrying the pain for others in the name of Jesus, because he loved him so much and he followed him. So let's try and follow Jesus this week. Let's try and do something good for others by remembering the sacrifice of Archbishop Romero. We pray for Pope Francis that he may lead the church wisely and continue to follow Christ's example of love for those who are poor. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all our brothers and sisters throughout the world, especially those who are poor, that they may have hope for the future and a fairer world. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our parish, our family and our friends, that we may be inspired to love one another and treat all people as we would wish to be treated, no matter where they are in the world. Lord, in your mercy.